In this video, we will discuss about the resistors and different ways in which they can be connected. Resistors are passive electrical components that limit the flow of current. They are called passive because they consume energy rather than producing it. Resistors can be connected in a variety of ways. Let's see the first case. Resistors in series. Two or more resistors are said to be in series if current has only one path to go through the connection. In this case, the current through each resistor remains the same, while the potential across them is variable. As potential is different across each resistor, thus total potential across the connection is the sum of potential drops across each resistance. Let V1, V2 and V3 be the individual potential drops across R1, R2 and R3 resistors. Mathematically, V equals V1 plus V2 plus V3, where V is the total potential difference. Using Ohm's law, that is V equals IR, where R is the effective resistance due to all three resistances. As current remains constant for all the resistances, thus IR equals sum of IR1, IR2 and IR3. Taking I as common factor, we get R equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. So effective resistance of a series combination is found by simply adding all the resistances of each resistor. Next is resistors in parallel. Two or more resistors are said to be in parallel if current has multiple paths to go through the arrangement. In this case, the potential difference through each resistor remains the same, while the current across them is variable. As current is different for each resistor, therefore the total current through the network is the sum of I1 plus I2 plus I3, where I1, I2 and I3 are the current through resistors R1, R2 and R3 respectively. Using Ohm's law, I equals V over R, where R is the effective resistance in the circuit. So, V over R equals V over R1 plus V over R2 plus V over R3. Taking V as common factor from all the three terms, we get 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So in parallel combination, the reciprocal of effective resistance is equal to the sum of reciprocal of individual resistances of each resistor. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.